Today we are opening Massive Mail. What's up guys, today we are back with another epic viewer mail video. Today I have some huge packages, like literally, they're huge. You saw it in the intro. But before that, we do have a giveaway and a couple of smaller packages, then we'll get into the massive ones. First off, we have a giveaway, a PSA 9, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Someone actually sent this with their mail as a giveaway, and somehow it got separated from the actual mail. I can't remember exactly who sent me this to give away. Sorry, I appreciate you sending it in. If you did send it in, let me know in the comments. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite mail from the video. It can be a massive mail, it can be small mail, it can be just be the giveaway. That, that's probably a lot of you guys' favorite. We are going to start off with this golden package here. So we have a golden package and inside there are some, I believe, well, it appears to be some Orica cards. A very interesting part of this package is these, the note is literally screwed together, which is quite interesting. I'm not sure exactly how to undo this without a screwdriver and I really don't think I have one. Maybe we can try it with the fingernail. Okay, that came off a lot easier than I thought. So let's open up this note. Hey Ruxin, big fan of the channel and I appreciate all the time and work you put into them. You had mentioned in one of your recent videos about some Orica cards you received being flimsy. So I wanted to send you some sets from my shop that have some more sturdiness to them. It's from my Orca shop that you can find on Facebook at Duelist Kingdom Cards or on Amazon. We keep the prices affordable. We'll be adding a new 48 card deck set for both Yami Yugi and Seto Kaiba next month. For those interested, join our Facebook page for updates and available sets. I will also include some bonus cards for you as well. Keep up the great content. Nick, Duelist Kingdom Cards, you can email them there. Sounds pretty cool. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the Orcas, then we'll get into the uh, real cards they sent us. First of all, we have Banny Keith. We've got the Mechanical Chaser. These do feel very sturdy, actually. The, I don't remember that guy's name. He's a machine monster. So this is the Banny Keith deck. We have the Slot Machine, the Launcher Spider. We've got the Zoa. Where's the Metal Zoa? We've got the Blast Sphere, Machine King, the Barrel Dragon, the Metal Zoa. We've got the... Zira the Mant, the Zira Ritual or something like that. Seven completed, of course. It's a classic because you got to keep it up your sleeve. Slot Machine uh, and some other machines. And then we got the Metal Morph and the Time Machine or something like that. Then we have a second deck. Is this going to be a different deck? Oh, Paradox Brothers. Very cool. Got these whole anime decks. These would be fun to duel with in like... You have to know the effects. Labyrinth Wall, we've got that guy that bites people. I'm <laughs> just kidding, I don't know what it is. I don't know that one either. I don't remember that one. We got the Kazi Jin, I know that one. We got the Sui Jin, there's a Gate Guardian spoiler. No, the Sui Jin, sorry. Song of Thunder, Sui Jin, Gate Guardian, awesome. Wall Shadow, wait, where's the Kunai with Chain? The uh, Labyrinth Fusion or something? Labyrinth Wall with the uh, Shadow Ghoul in it. Judai Gunmo. Oh, we're Yoku, I forgot they had that. The Labyrinth Tank. Invigoration, I think? And then remove trap. Okay, a couple more decks. We got the Mako deck. Let's see what they got in here. We got Mako Tsunami. That guy, I don't remember his name. The uh, Jellyfish. Man, these don't slide very easily is one problem. The Flying Fish. We got the uh, Shark Guy. I always like that one. He looks cool. This is a card that wasn't in English for a very long time, I think. The Amphibian Beast. We've got the uh, Legendary Fisherman. The Legendary Fisherman 2. Legendary Fisherman 3. I think that's how that goes. The Fortress Whale, very cool ritual card from TP7. Return of the Doomed, we got a Umi, Fortress Oath or something like that, or Whale's Oath, Torrential Tribute, and the Tornado Wall. All right, final deck, we have Rex Raptor himself. So soon they're dropping the uh, Yugi and Kaiba, they said, so that's pretty cool. All right, Rex Raptor, what's he got? We got Red Eyes in here, Serpent Eye Dragon, I guess is after. Tyrant, he has Tyrant Dragon? I didn't know that. Must have been later. Uh, Two-Headed King Rex, that other dinosaur, another dinosaur... The uh, Black Tyranno, we've got, oh, and here's a wheel, so it's like half a deck. Got the uh, Parasite Parasite, we got the Insect Queen. Oh, the legendary Pequeno Moth, the best card in the deck. Cocoon of Evolution, we got the Larva Moth, Grande Moth, and of course, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, which we are giving away in this video, so check it out. Okay, let's check out the real cards they sent us. First of all, we have UFO Turtle. Okay, just one card there. All right, so it's one card. We have the Guardian Sphinx. That's a first edition from Pharaonic Guardian. That's pretty awesome. One tribute flip effect, which is pretty funny. We got the Ectoplasmer. That's a classic from the anime. Love that. Chiron the Mage. That's a pretty cool looking card. And then the Red Moon Baby. Very nice. So I guess the foil was right in the middle, kind of like a pack, which is pretty cool. Well, there's a Super Anna Ultra, actually. Thank you again for that. Go check out their page if you're interested in their anime cards. Next, we have an envelope. There is an address on the top, so I'm not going to show that part. We have a note here. Hi, I've been watching some of your opening videos on YouTube 
YouTube. Pretty impressive and fun to watch. Thank you very much. Now I found four Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are collecting dust and decided to send to you. Enjoy them. They're behind the magic card. Regards, Franz Hendricks. Let's see what he sent us. We have four cards here. They are uh, interestingly packaged to say the least. Well, let's see if we can get them out. First card we have, they're all behind magic cards, which is interesting. Ooh, Cyber Harpy Lady. That's actually a really nice one. Pretty cool OCG. All right, I wonder if all four will be OCG. That'll be interesting. Let's see. I do not have a lot of OCG cards, so this is pretty cool. Next we have Gemini Elf. This is an Invasion of Chaos Special Edition. Very nice. Not even in bad condition on these, actually. This is pretty cool. Third card we have a... Another Gemini Elf, Labyrinth of Nightmare Secret Rare. This is actually really, really nice. It has a little crease up there, but that's still really cool. Secret Rare Original from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Very nice. And the final fourth card from Franz. Let's see what he sent us. Will it be another Gemini Elf or will it be another Cyber Harpy Lady? Oh, an Ultimate Rare. Oh my goodness. Things beat up, but an Ultimate Rare Japanese Gemini Elf. This is some of the cards that I would love to start collecting are Japanese old ultimate rares like this that is incredible so we have three gemini elves and we have a cyber harpy lady that is an absolutely awesome set of cards right there so thanks again to franz that was really cool next up is a massive tube let's see what's inside this thing okay first off we have this is going to be very difficult to show so i'm just going to hold it up it's like a print sheet but it's obviously not the real one but it's yugi on the front it's an lob it's like all the cards from lob it seems that's pretty cool also also, there's an entire Pokemon base set one in there as well. Looks like there's a few of these LOB ones, and I think maybe like one of the Pokemon one. I mean, obviously, we like Yu-Gi-Oh! better here, but this is really cool. Very difficult to show on camera, though. And by the way, this was from Crossover Collectibles. He said, hey, bud, hope you enjoy. Keep up the great content. So if you guys are interested in contacting him, I think that he could make more of these. I'm not totally sure how many of these he sells or whatever, but he sent me this, so I figured that he wants some of you guys to go check it out. Then we have the massive cardboard box here that you guys saw in the intro. We have a giant Yu-Gi-Oh card. What Yu-Gi-Oh card is it, you ask? You're about to find out. The giant Yu-Gi-Oh card reveal is Millennium Shield from McDonald Pack. Guys, you know what I should have asked for? He asked me which card I wanted because this is one of my favorite cards, probably my favorite card, Pecanio Moth. I should ask for the Pecanio Moth. It would have been epic. However, this is also epic here. We might not grade this thing a PSA 10. You see this here. That's probably going to knock the grade down. We're looking at like moderate play here. We're looking at maybe a PSA 4 or 5. But overall, pretty nice card. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. This is really cool. And the guy who sent me this sent me a note. Rux, dude, you rock. Thanks for all the good content. I know this is your favorite card. Hope it brings back and magnifies your childhood memories. Keep inspiring others to live a big kid life at Big Kid Life. So go check him out. If you guys want to have massive cards like this, then you just go check him out and he can make these for you. So it's pretty cool. Next time, maybe I'll get the Pequeno Moth. That'd be pretty awesome. But the Millennium Shield is also really awesome. All right. We will see how long that stays up there. And the final two items we have are from Hypeland. They sent us a box and a package. First off, let's see what's inside of the box. We have some shirts, so let's see what these shirts are exactly. First, we have a Merrick shirt. Got many Merrick cards on there. Very cool. Oh, and they sent a sweatshirt. Yu-Gi-Oh! sweatshirt. Now, this is pretty awesome. It's a hoodie and everything. Let's check the back out. The back has all that epicness. Let's see if I can show this. You guys see this? Check this out. This thing looks sick. I don't know if you guys can hear me back here, but... <laughs> This looks really cool. Here's the final item they sent us. Um, is this a rug? I think this might be a rug. I'm not sure what this is. We're about to open it up. Um, we have Yugi as a rug now. Full body Yugi. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Yugi! All right, so now that I have full body Yugi, him and I can have some discussions about how to become king of games, which is great. And by the way, Hypeland does have a website. You guys can go check them out and buy like merch and all kinds of really cool stuff that they have. They're like a really big store and they have a ton of awesome Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that they just launched recently. So go check that out if you guys are interested because that's some really quality stuff. Like that hoodie seems really nice. All right, guys, that's it for our massive mail day. There was a lot of large items. It was fun to open. If you sent me something, I really appreciate it. If you guys do want to send me something, you can check out my PO box in the description and you can be in a future mail day. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike, Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace.
<laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh! 